The Driver, your source for the latest car news and reviews. We're at the North American International Auto Show looking at Volvo XC90. So as you can see, it's been changed significantly and the outgoing design is sure need a new body. We have a waterfall grill here, the chrome stripe, sorry, uh, an LED stripe that runs in between the lights and some LEDs below and regular bulbs on top. Fog lamps. This one seems to be a plug-in version. Let's go inside and have a look. So now we're inside the XC90 and wow, there's so much technology in here. That touchscreen is probably the biggest, um, or sorry, vertically the biggest touchscreen I've seen. And it looks like it might be even more user friendly than most touchscreens in terms of orientation because say my hands on the shifter I can easily move towards the buttons without having to take my hand completely off the shifter the mirror is almost borderless You have two cup holders, but I'm not exactly sure whether they would be best at not spilling your drink on this uh, car charge, car charging port. Here you have a drive mode selector, and the shifter that I just talked about is unique as well. Um, Notice how it's here, the markings instead of along the shifter. Seems very electronic and more like a game controller. So this is completely, completely LCD. There is no gauges, uh, there are no traditional gauges on this. It's just uh, a huge horizontal screen. Over here on the steering wheel you have voice control. Um, page toggle and directional controls. That, that uh, navigation screen light looks like uh, it would be very helpful. In the back, you have fairly decent legroom. Here you have uh, seat heaters for the rear passengers. Um, or sorry, yeah, these are seat heaters, and this is to control the thermostat. Looks like they'll be able to uh, toggle between various modes, or uh, actually have each passenger set their own temperature. The seats are reclinable. And in the back, you have another row of seats. There's a huge panoramic sunroof that stretches all the way to the back. And yeah, so this is the interior. Seats are fairly comfortable. Let's we'll step outside, take a look at the back. I'm not crazy about the design from the back because from this angle it kind of reminds me of the Kia Rondo. But it looks a bit more impressive over here. You have Volvo's classic vertical, vertically stacked lights. It seems to be made completely full of LEDs. Reflectors on the side.
This has been the Volvo XC90 at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. For the latest car news and reviews, go to www.thedriver.ca.